My name is Frank Muller. I've been farming in Yolo County, California. I've been doing this for a little over 40 years. The most important lesson that I've learned over the years of farming is a new lesson every year. Every year is so different, very humbling uh, occupation sometimes, when sometimes you think you have it figured out and there's curves that are thrown your way. So it's, it's a constant challenge, but that's really the thing that I like about it most. So I have this philosophy of my employees. That I consider them to be professionals. They've been at this job, many of them, for years and years. It's supposed to be 102 degrees outside today. As bad as the weather can be sometimes, it just presents a different challenge to you. And what are we going to do to get through this? And, and how are we going to learn from this experience and not be affected by it as much next year? When it's 110 degrees outside, uh, probably in the field they can go to 110 to 115 or 16 degrees. You don't got water. You can dehydrate easy. The challenge with heat illness and what it can do to a person has just made us more aware of what we have to do to keep our workers healthy. If you're working in the fields and you don't have access to water, access to shade, you can become dehydrated and subject to heat illness very, very quickly. I think the data are pretty clear that the choice to stress the workers and cause the heat illness is the least profitable choice, just in dollars and cents. If I've hired 20 people, there's a cost to hiring, and then if three or four of them are sick or can't work, I have that cost over again, or maybe I don't get the crop harvested, which is a, a huge loss. It's important to protect your farm workers' health and safety because I need them on my farm every day. I, I need them to be healthy. I need them to be happy. I need them to show up and to be able to make a living that they can provide for their family. And I told the story many, many times about we built trailers that are like a mobile picnic table with a shade structure on top. And when we first built these things, we were kind of thinking, well, is anybody ever going to use these? And the first one that came out of the shop, I brought it out to a field and set it up in the field. And I was shocked because within 10 minutes, everyone had their lunch on the table and their water jugs on the table. And it was a resource that we weren't providing that there was a need for it. One of the reasons that I do what I do is because we read about the lack of people that want to work on farms. I don't have that problem. And why don't I have that problem? Because my farm is known as a good place to work. I have people coming and applying for jobs on my farm, and the reason that they're doing that is because of word of mouth. There's a lot of the agricultural workers in the community, and their friends, they talk about where they work and what their bosses are like and how they're treated and they know where the good places to work are. I think it's a great business philosophy to take care of your employees because I have really great employees and I have all the employees that I need and when I want more, I can find them. And that's really different from a lot of other farms and the farms that have problems finding employees are usually the ones that don't treat their workers right. So what would I say to other farm owners about implementing heat illness training and safety is like, why aren't you doing it for the safety of your workers and for the health of your workers? It's not very expensive, it's not hard to do, and it's really the only right thing to do with your employees.